Hi everyone, welcome to The Word at One from Monday, March 1st. It is a new month and we are in the Gospel of Mark and the author of the Gospel of Mark is John Mark who we believe received a lot of his first town accounts from Peter as Peter was imprisoned in Rome uh, waiting for his last days before he went back to be with Jesus. And so the Gospel of Mark is all about what is imminent, what is happening, what is going to happen, what is happening now. Um, the, one of the, some of the first words we hear from Jesus is the first sermon that he preaches, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near, it's coming, it's coming. And so throughout the Gospel, we see a lot of encounters of Jesus, especially with the religious leaders of the time who are more focused on the law than on what God intends for the people to have happen in their hearts and have their hearts changed. So one of the ways that Jesus also clashed a lot with the religious leaders of the time was about the Sabbath. And the Sabbath laws are extremely strict. And so there's not supposed to be any work on the Sabbath. And the intent of the law is that there would be rest, there would be worship, there would be contemplation on the Sabbath rather than kind of our everyday busy lives. But there's a lot of extra laws that had been added to that. And so Jesus is really responding to all these extra laws and extra burdens that the leaders have placed on the people that were outside of what God intended. So Jesus is at the synagogue because Jesus was always a very faithful synagogue attendee during the time that he was here for the Sabbath day. And it says in 3 verse 1, another time he went into the synagogue. So this is what he did for Sabbath. And a man with a shriveled hand was there. And so this man with shriveled hands, so everybody's kind of watching what's going to happen. Is Jesus going to heal? Because technically that's work if you heal on the Sabbath. Um, or is he not going to heal him because of the Sabbath? And so he's kind of stuck between two different choices. And Jesus, of course, decides to heal the man on the Sabbath. In the same way when his disciples were hungry, or they picked grain on the Sabbath. Uh, because Jesus wants to make it clear that the law is important. He is the lawgiver. But the most important thing, like the Gospel of Mark, the most imminent thing, the thing that's really near, is that the kingdom of God is near. The kingdom of God is here in the person of Jesus Christ. And that is the power to heal, no matter what day that it is. And so someone greater than the law has come to interpret the law. And what God intended was for rest and for worship, but not extra burdens on top of that. And certainly not to miss opportunities to serve others, no matter what day we find ourselves in. So we will see you all tomorrow with the Gospel of Luke.